Hi there, it's Kai from Kajko Crafts and today we will make this cute card and I will show you how you can use honeybee beehive mask to make clouds. Let's make this card. First I will prepare my panel. I have this piece of white cardstock that is the same size as my card base and I will die cut it with my stitched double-sided rectangles and you can see how beautiful it looks because of that stitching detail. Now I just stamp out some images from the sad busy bee and I will just color it in with my zigs. I will use this bright orange and pink for one of the flowers because I want to have one of them really pop out and I will just quickly blend everything together with my water brush. As usual, I am using my Derwent watercolor paper that is perfect for working with zigs because as you can see it blends really easily and I don't have any problems blending. I will just continue coloring my images. As you can see I already colored the B and now I will just color the leaves and the stems. And now the last thing to color are these other flowers and I will just use yellow for the middle part and then I will use this light gray just to give it some highlight and I will leave it just like it is. So we will just have this cute shadow and it will look really good. And now comes that part where we will use this beehive stencil to make clouds. Uh, when I first saw this stencil I thought that it was perfect for making clouds. So I just went with it and it actually looks really good. So here I'm using my Distress Oxide. Um, because it's really easy to blend so I will dab a lot of the color off because Distress Oxides are really bright and you can see that I don't want this effect because I want to have some white showing so we have this nice effect of clouds. I will use this stencil three times and I will just shift it just a bit so I will have it on a different angle each time. And I will just dab some more color off because my foam for ink blending is quite uh, colory already and I don't want to overwhelm the color. And at the bottom I won't make clouds because I felt like three clouds were enough. So I will just use really light hand on the bottom again with the same Distress Oxide. I'm using color Broken China. And I will just, as I said, blend it out. And this is how our scene will look like. I will just add some more color. And I will go um, to my upper clouds again just to blend some more out. Now we will start positioning. I have my liquid glue in this syringe and I use it as a precision tip. And I really love it because it's actually really good and not expensive. So yeah, I will just glue my flowers down. I will start with the flowers that would be at the background, so the one that I want to be optically more in the background and then I will build a scene on them. I will use my liquid glue for all of the flowers and I will just pop the colored one up. So we will have this dimension but not too much. So I will just continue building the scene. I took my time because I didn't want to rush it. And now I was in the middle of the positioning and I realized that I want to have these two flowers in the left and on the right hanging out of my rectangle. So I just glue the white cardstock that we die cut 
earlier down and now I will again use my liquid glue to glue everything together. And here I will make sure that the flowers are positioned so it is easy on the eye so that it looks a bit symmetrical but not too much. And now I will just pop this bright flower up and the last thing that I will glue down here will be this cute little bee. I will just put it on this left side and now I decided that I want to have a hello sentiment on there so I die cut it a hello and then again I die cut it the outer line of the hello from Wellam and for just the hello I used my black cardstock and I will just put my acrylic block on there just to make sure the liquid glue is dry enough so I can glue it to my card. I will use my liquid glue again on my wellum but I will make sure that I just cover the pieces where there is actually a black die cut so you won't be able to see this glue through the wellum. And now to finish it off I will use this beautiful sequence from Honeybee. It's called Mermaid and it's actually perfect for our release that is coming tomorrow. So make sure you will check out our blog tomorrow for more inspiration. That's it. Hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial and that you will give it a try and use stencils that you already have and use them in the other way in the way that you wouldn't use them normally i hope that you will join me next week until then bye bye